crafty friends it's melinda with craftymelinda.com and today i wanted to just hop on here really quick and do a project share for uh, this uh, set that i made and it is for cottage cuts um, and they have a new release and it's got a sports themed with baseball and golf and so i created this uh, cute card and it features the ball cap, the number one, the MVP, and the baseball and the bat are all part of the collection. And then this large baseball, as well again as the mitt, the ball, and the bat, and then the all-star. And I made this cute little circular box and it flaps open so you can put some treats in there. And I did that by using their pierced circle die set. I used the largest two dies um, and I did in blue and then in the patterned paper. And then I cut a strip and then I used the next smallest to uh, hide some of the mechanics at the base of my uh, box and at the top. And I have um, a blog post on their blog where you can get some pictures and some more details on how I did that, how I made the box. And I think it turned out really cute. It was real fast and easy. And then a corresponding card. And here are some of the dies that I used from that new collection. This mitt with the ball and the bat. Super cute. This one here that has MVP, All-Star, and number one, and they show you that it kind of coordinates with the hat. Here's the hat, and it's got the stitching in it, as you can see. And then I just used my white gel pen to um, really pronounce the stitch marks. And then the ball, which is a nice large ball, and I like that the stitching is not in the circle. So you could use the circle for other things and you could use the stitching for other things too. Um, so that's really nice. And then of course their pierced circle set. And then I did use their stitched rectangle scallop set for my, um, for the all-star tag. So yeah, so that's my project for today. I'll leave a link in the info section where you can pick these dies up and also the blog post that will explain how I did this with pictures and um, written instructions. So until the next time, you have a wonderfully crafty day.